Arsenal midfielder Granit Chaka has been a divisive figure ever since he arrived in North London. Some fans applaud his passion and desire, whereas others have labelled him a clueless liability in the past. However, this season at least, it seems as though Mikel Arteta has been able to do what even Gunners legend Arsene Wenger failed to do, as he's found the perfect role for Chaka in this Arsenal side. In this video, we will take a look at how Chaka has transformed his style of play and become an Arsenal hero. Share your thoughts about Chaka down in the comments below. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. October 2019, with Arsenal being held 2-2 by Crystal Palace, Granit Chaka was subbed. As he walked off the jeers were apparent, the Arsenal captain responded by cupping his ears and encouraging the crowd to chant louder, which they did. Then Chaka threw the armband to the floor. Nearly three years on, the same player isn't just playing for the Gunners, he's scoring crucial goals. Like his strike last season against Man United, Chaka's goal in the North London Derby saw the Emirates collectively put their arms around a man. They are now proud to have wearing their shirt. He's now a popular scorer. Throughout his career at Arsenal, Chaka has more often than not been deployed as a holding midfielder, particularly before the arrival of midfield partner Thomas Partey. This resulted in a lot of his weaknesses being exposed far too often, much to the ire of fans. Firstly, Chaka seems to struggle with his concentration and composure. Even in his best games, he is still prone to being caught on the ball or misplacing a pass. And when you play holding midfield, this often gets punished. The margin for error in this position is minimal, particularly in a team that has notoriously prioritised the attacking phase of the game and left its defensive players exposed. Secondly, there is his lack of defensive awareness. Chaka does not possess the same defensive instincts as Liverpool's Fabinho, for example, and this often leads to him making rash decisions or failing to track a run at a critical stage of the game. As mentioned, this effect is only heightened by the fact that Arsenal's defensive players are often left exposed due to their attacking style of play. This combination of poor defensive awareness and limited concentration skills often results in the 29-year-old being forced to make last gasp tackles, which goes some way to explaining his shocking return of 53 yellow cards and four red cards in just 194 Premier League appearances. Very clearly then, defensive midfield does not suit Chaka's playstyle or his qualities. Despite that, Arsene Wenger, Anai Emery, Frederick Lundberg and even Mikel Arteta chose to deploy him at the base of their midfield and Chaka's performances were being harmed as a result. Or at least that was the case up until the start of the 2022-23 season. Granit Chaka's new role as a box-to-box -box midfielder, not enough pace, not enough technical ability and not mobile enough. They would have been the words the majority of fans and pundits would have replied to Mikhail Arteta had he publicly stated his plan to convert Chaka to his new role as a number eight. However, it has been a massive success so far with Arteta even designating his midfielder an important player for the club. The central midfielder registered just six goal involvements in the Premier League between the 2020-21 and 2021-22 seasons. However, playing in his new role, he has already amassed seven goal contributions in 17 games this season, showcasing the influence he can have at the top end of the pitch. His sofa score heat map for the 2022-23 season also highlights his increased attacking involvement, with the former Borussia Mönchengladbach not just operating in the opposition's half more often, but entering their box more frequently too. Chaka may not have the qualities of a traditional box-to-box -box midfielder, 
but that certainly isn't stopping him from making the role his own. The Switzerland international seems to be enjoying his new role too. Speaking to the club's official website, he explained, I've got more freedom to go up and down. I know I can do that. I have a lot of freedom from the coach, from my teammates. It's possible that Chaka could have his manager's former mentor to thank for his new role as a likely factor for Arteta's decision to redeploy the midfielder could be a result of his time working with Pep Guardiola at Manchester City. During his time there, Arteta saw Guardiola dominate the Premier League using a very specific method of football. After the departure of striker Sergio Aguero, Manchester City often deployed a fluid front, three or four depending on the opponent, and supplemented those attackers with goals from midfield. In Gabriel Jesus, Bukayo Saka, Gabriel Martinelli and Martin Odegaard, Arteta had his fluid attack, but he was still without his goal scorer from midfield. Or so everyone thought. He may not be a household name like Kevin De Bruyne or Ilke Gundogan, but Chaka has allowed Arteta to implement Guardiola's template for success at Arsenal. Of course, the former Barcelona manager isn't the only reason for Chaka's new role. Arteta is his own man after all. But he would have influenced the decision nevertheless. One thing is for sure though, Granite Chaka is relishing his new role in Arsenal's midfield. What do you think about Chaka's transformation? Share your thoughts with us down in the comments below. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel.